Connecticut Teen USA, Katie Brown, and today I will be taking you around my day. I'm going to start the day off by showering and getting ready, so I'll get back to you in a few minutes. A load of how cute my dog Layla is back there. If anyone can guess what kind of dog she is, that'd be awesome. Hi, Layla. And Lucy. Hi, pretty. Aren't they the cutest? Layla. Layla. Say hi, Snapchat. As always, I invite you all to send me questions throughout the day, and I will answer them all at the end of the night. Such a beautiful day here in sunny Connecticut. The sun is out. The flowers are smiling. Life is good. So, I haven't worn makeup in about two and a half weeks, I want to say. But today I have a job interview, so I am going to have to put myself together. Say hello to my biggest fan and hero. It's my dad. Hi, everybody. My name's Garth, Kitty Brown's dad. How's everything going today? <laughs> Do a little Q&A. Dad, true or false, you let me paint your nails one time. True. I'm your favorite kid. Oh, uh, <laughs> so true. Who do you love more, the dogs or your own two kids? I love my children second to the dogs. Just two good dogs. <laughs> Everyone who wants to know what kind of dogs they are, these are Tibetan Mastiffs. Hi! Ah. You know, and they'll show you, and I put in there the, um, there's one. Everyone, I want to introduce you to Kyle O'Connor. This has been my best friend since my freshman year of high school, and he also came to Fiji with me. If he's looking for a new concealer, I highly recommend Edit and Delete by Victoria Duke Beauty. It changed my life. Like I mentioned, I was just in Fiji and I got really tan, so hopefully my foundation is still the same color as my skin. Best makeup advice is have the right brush. Everything is based on your application, so as long as you have the right brush, you can literally do anything. Hey everyone, keep the questions coming. Like I said, I'll answer them all tonight, but just keep them coming. One thing about me is I love the outdoors, so I'm going to take you all for a hike in one of my favorite mountains in CT. <laughs> Lovely Case Mountain of Manchester. We made it to the top. Such a beautiful view. Probably can't see it, but right there is Hartford, which is our state capital. And so, as promised, I'm going to start answering your questions, but I'm just going to start off by letting you know a little bit more about myself. I'm 19 years old. I go to the University of Rhode Island as a freshman, and this past state pageant was my first pageant that I've ever competed in. The thing that I absolutely love to do is travel, and so far I've been to five countries outside of the United States, this past one just being about a week or so ago. Weeks, I had the opportunity to live in Fiji with the host family where I got to go on a mission trip and help refurbish their school. Fortunately, because of this, I was not able to attend the Miss USA pageant, but it was such a life-changing experience that I would not give it up for the world. I'm so thankful for it. 
On that, I just want to say Miss Connecticut did amazing on that Miss USA stage. I so, so wish that she got called top five. I think she would have had amazing answers. Fun fact about me is I've been a vegetarian for about two years now. Um, do not watch Food Inc. if you love me because it'll change your life. Another fun fact is I am probably the only teenager in America that still is a diehard Survivor fan. Just in case you missed it, I'm going to play our Miss USA's final question just because it's such an empowering statement. There's no question as to why she won the question. Serving in the military has taught me that being confidently beautiful is about being able to earn, res to earn respect from people regardless of what you look like. As a woman in the military, people associate beauty, associate beauty with weakness, and they learn very quickly. And I'm extremely strong, and although I'm small, I'm powerful. One thing I love about the Miss Universe organization is that it is a beauty pageant in a way, but once it comes down to the final questions, it's really about how well you can speak for yourself. Being an organization that's based off empowering young women across the country, I think it is extremely important that we have those final questions to really pick the best representative for. Anyways, that's me fangirling over the Miss USA pageant, so now that I got that out of the way, I'm going to start answering some of your questions. One of the most important things I've learned competing in my past pageant is that I have a huge support group, and you are really never alone. You can always reach out for help and have people there for you who love, who love you and care about you and will always be there to support your success and help you when you're down. One of the biggest role models in my life are my parents. They have not only showed endless support through my entire life, but they also really showed me how to treat other people. And they taught me how to recognize that everyone else you meet is going through their own um, life and facing their own issues. So always be kind and be friendly to everyone. My favorite Miss Teen USA is Logan West. My favorite USA is Nia Sanchez. And my favorite Miss Universe would have to be our current one, Pia or Olivia Copel. I got asked how I got started in pageants, and really I've always been into modeling. It would be like the dream job to be a professional model. So my mom came to me with the idea of competing in the Miss Connecticut pageant, so I was so down for it. It sounded like a lot of fun, and the rest is history. Advice that I would give to a young girl competing in pageants is do not focus on the beauty aspect of it. Every organization wants a woman who can speak for herself. And if you concentrate on how well you can speak for yourself and your opinions and views on certain topics, you're going to gain a lot more from the pageant experience rather than just a fun So I got a little cut off there, but what I was going to say is you are going to gain a lot more life skills if you focus on that rather than just a really fun pageant weekend. The places that I have traveled to outside of the United States is Quebec in Canada, Turks and Caicos, Barbados, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and Fiji. One thing that I would change from the past Miss USA pageant is that Miss Connecticut made the top five because every time I speak to her, I whenever I speak to Tiffany, I always gain something from it. So I think she would have answered any of those onstage questions beautifully. I have never had to change a flat tire, although I've had a flat tire, but the person I was with knew how to change it. So I just let him take care of it. My biggest fear on the modeling ramp is that I'm not going to be prepared for it. Tripping or anything, I can live down, but I just want to go out there 100% confident and represent myself to the best of my ability. I am a firm believer that believing in yourself is the number one step to success. My favorite thing about pageants is the onstage question because it really gives the individual the opportunity to show the reason why she should win and it also shows the audience that even though maybe their favorite didn't win this is why this girl won and this is why she's a great representative. My absolute number one tip in anyone gonna, who's going to compete in a pageant is have fun. It's all about having fun. That's why we do anything on the I've gotten a couple compliments on my eyelashes. Thank you. They are eyelash extensions, and I got them done at the Salon Shampoo in Waterbury. 
My favorite aspect about pageantry is it is a reason for young, empowering women to come together and really celebrate their successes. I think Deshauna is an incredibly exceptional woman. What a better Miss USA than someone who is in the United States. So hats off to her. I just love her. I am literally fangirling over her right now. Anyways, my thoughts on Pia is that she is a beautiful Miss Universe, not only in looks, but also as a spokesperson for AIDS, which is something that she has expressed extreme interest and passion in. My roommate for Miss Teen USA is Lauren Boswell, Miss Indiana Teen USA. She is such a sweetheart, and we really hit it off kind of the second we met each other. Miss Colorado Teen USA got asked this yesterday, and I have a very similar answer to hers. The question is if I would ever compete at Miss Teen USA without makeup on to promote inner and natural beauty. And I would totally do that. I think something that makes this organization so special is that it brings together individuals who all believe that inner beauty is most important. I believe that makeup is there to enhance your looks, not mask who you are or cover your face. So I think you can achieve, you can achieve inner confidence by really understanding that you are beautiful no matter what and that makeup is just there for fun. If I could have one superpower, it would be like the Matilda superpower where you can move things with your mind. It's pretty cool. Me, personally, the reason that I wear makeup, it's not necessarily to enhance my looks, but I think it's so much fun. Really, when it's just me and my brushes, I feel like, I feel like an artist. It's the coolest thing you can do is just create your face and really enhance its shape. I didn't have to convince my parents for them to let me compete in pageants because they brought forth the idea to me. But if you are in a position where you really want to compete in a pageant and your parents are against it, I think you should bring forth the reasons as to why you think that'd be a good choice for you. One of the most important things that I've learned from competing in this past pageant is that you have to believe in yourself. You have so many people out there who love you and want to see you succeed, so you have to believe in yourself and hold that positive mindset, and really everything will just fall into place after that. My thoughts on body image is that that is your own personal perception. So if you can find happiness and confidence within, then that is all that matters. Really, the opinions of others is just trivial in your life. So as long as you can believe in yourself and be happy with the person you are, there's absolutely no need to worry about what others think of you. Remember that you have been put on this earth for a reason, and you cannot let the opinions of others tear you down. If I could eat one food for the rest of my life, it would hands down have to be cheese pizza. I've never been to Wisconsin, I've never been to Iowa, but after this past Fiji trip, I was really inspired to start traveling, and the places I want to go first is every state in our country, because we have such a diverse culture, and we have such beautiful landscape. Something that I like most about my hometown is because it's such a small farm town, I feel a tremendous amount of support through my friends and my family as I make my journey to the Miss Teen USA stage. I'm getting so many questions right now. Feel free to keep sending them in. I promise I'll get to them. I do watch football, and my favorite team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Go Steelers. Just a little glimpse of how fan my family is. Here is our basement. The job that I interviewed for today is a waitressing job. Everyone, Lucy is now accepting questions as well. How do we achieve world peace? She knows all the answers. I am such a summer person. I love to ski and everything, but I also like to go outside and be warm. My favorite TV show is a tie between Survivor or anything on HGTV or anything on Discovery. Some fun things I got to do in Fiji was take a trip to a waterfall next to the village with all the village kids. It was really humbling. I got to teach an entire class one day um, full of kids from the village. I got to teach them about the continents and the ocean, which most of the village kids couldn't even label Fiji on a map, and they had never even seen the ocean before.
aside from that, we got to go cave diving, um, snorkeling, which was so cool, and I got to go parasailing. I used to be really into making kale smoothies, but my all-time favorite smoothie would have to be strawberry banana. My favorite store to shop at, probably Forever 21. They have pretty inexpensive clothes that are really cute. I have no special talents. I'm literally the most untalented person I know. I can do a split. Does that count? When I got crowned Miss Connecticut Teen USA, I was really overwhelmed with emotion. I think the only thing that was going through my mind was, Oh my god! We did it! Oh, I hope this doesn't fall off my head! I was so freaking excited. All of the pictures I got, I, like, was smiling so big. It was an amazing moment. I felt like I had, like, scored, like, the game-winning point, and, like, all my fans were, like, cheering me on, and I was like, we did it, guys. So proud. Absolutely would consider doing something crazy in my hair. Actually, er earlier this year, I wanted to dye it pink, but I knew I couldn't do that for the pageant. I was asked about my thoughts on the Sandy Hook tragedy. This was something that affected not only Connecticut very heavily, the entire nation. And I think it is unbelievably horrific that an individual would do that and take such innocent lives. So because that hit so close to home to me, I am very supportive and supporter in laws and regulations coming out in gun control. I think that it is becoming a more and more problem every day. And if you take the ability for someone to take someone else's lives out of their hands, then I think we would not be facing the tragedies that we have faced as, as a nation, most recently faced, and hopefully we'll never have to face again. I win Miss Teen USA. I plan to inspire as much young woman as I can, not only throughout my reign, but following it as well. If I did end up winning, I would go to almost every appearance that came my way, and it would be my goal to leave every person who talked to me with a better mindset. I'm not entirely sure if I would compete in Miss Connecticut USA in the future. I think life takes you in so many different directions in different ways, so it's really hard for me to predict what's going to happen to me within the upcoming years, but I love pageants and I love what they stand for, so I can definitely see myself entering another one, and I could see myself doing Miss Connecticut. My favorite type of exercise is self-defense exercise, like kickboxing and stuff, because you get a workout from it, but you also get way more of a reward. Being able to defend yourself in any situation is extraordinarily important, especially as a young college student. I think my best trait is my relatability. You never want to have a conversation with someone when they think they're above you, so I pride myself in the fact that whenever I have a conversation with someone, I am really interested in getting to know them as a person and hope that they feel that genuinity. Guys, I had so much fun with you today. I hope you enjoyed an average day in the life of Katie Brown. If you have any more questions, free to Facebook message me, Instagram DM me, and I will answer them. In the next page, you'll see my personal accounts. Feel free to follow. I wish everyone that asked me questions and followed my story good luck in life. Be excited for the next title holder to take over Snapchat. Change of plans. I have a super mega celebrity who wants to say hey. So, here I go. Further ado, please welcome Miss Connie Brown. Woo! She has an important message that she wants to send to all of you mm -hmm. before we sign off. So let's hear it. Yeah. Be kind. Pray for peace. Make somebody else's life better. Rock on. <laughs>